Welcome back YouTubers. This is going to be a review of Robot Spirits figure number 297, the Goof Custom MS07B-3. One of my favorite designs. This is Norris's custom Goof from 8th MS team and if I must say I think this is one of the best designs that's in the series. It comes with your standard suite of hands and a bar. It has the standard two thruster effects, which are becoming the basic default setting on this series. But it also comes with a few extras. First is a splash effect and a machine gun volley for the rifle here. So you can have it gatling away. I haven't been able to get it to stay on as well. Let me just try one more thing. Oh, there we go. That's better. And then we've got it with the spray effect, which is really cool. Now, they've made this model before, but the other two times it had much wider apart shoulders, plus had a double Gatling gun setup and a red blade, as well as the unignited one in. As far as I can remember, they never use the ignited ones, so this is more accurate. There's also a spare command fin if you lose this one, so it's good to have that. The blade also can be tucked into the shield, which is one of the things I like about it. And it's very flexible, as most of the animated series ones are, especially with the chest section, as you can see. Got a bit more play with it. Not quite as much because of this big black piece here. You can also pop off the entire top assembly, as you can see, and there's the rapid-fire Gatling gun here, which replaced the go standard goof's built-in finger guns. Overall, as I said, this is one of my favorite designs for the Goof. It's a good, solid design, and it even comes with the little cable launcher, this one a lot longer than the last one, and it just plugs in here. I really think this was a good replacement for those heat whips that they used in the previous ones, because they just didn't seem as usable. In the series, they use this grappling hook to swing all around an urban environment. And I kind of get the impression, especially from watching a lot of mech genres, that this one excels in basically urban and other terrain where there isn't a lot of flat open spaces. The Zaku of the Gundam series that was their initial one is its basis, but this one is designed to move faster and be more mobile on the ground. When it comes to ground warfare, this one is superior, in my opinion, to the Dom in many respects. While the Dom is faster on open terrain with its hover drive and bigger and bulkier and heavily armored, it's just not as nimble or able to fight as well as a Goof. In a flat open terrain or maneuvering around in open spaces, the Dom has the edge, as it does in space over the Zaku. But I would say this model is superior for general combat. I kind of would have liked to see more of this kind of thing in the series. But what can we do? But anyway, that'll be all for now. Please like, subscribe, and comment below and share this video. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.